Okay, Lesson 5-5b, Inverses of Matrices, Part 2. Here's the fact for not all matrices have inverses. In general, only square matrices can have inverses. All right, and not even all of those have inverses. All right, so what's a square matrix? A 2 by 2, a 3 by 3, a 4 by 4, etc. Those are square matrices. So as we said, we need a formula or a theorem or an algorithm. We need some way of determining whether or not there even is an inverse matrix for a given matrix. So first of all, we make sure that it's square. If it's not square, it cannot have a, in, an inverse. And then we move to a special case, the 2 by 2 inverse matrix theorem. And it will tell us whether or not there is going to be a matrix inverse and it will also tell us how to quickly find it. All right, two by two inverse matrix theorem. If the product A times D minus the product B times C is not equal to zero, then the inverse of this little two by two matrix, A, B, C, D, is, okay, this ugly thing right here, okay? Notice this right here this difference has to not be equal to zero. Okay, That is called your determinant. Your determinant. Sometimes it's abbreviated DET. All you really got to do is look at your 2 by 2, multiply along the diagonals and subtract them. Okay, If you get zero, it's not even worth looking at. The matrix will not have an inverse. But if you don't get zero, then you can go ahead and figure it out. And then all you have to do is this switch the A and the D, switch their spots, and just simply make the B and the C into their opposites and divide everything by the determinant. Okay. So take a look at that. All right, You might want to write this down, put it in your notes. Um, you might want to stop the film, take a look, and then we'll do an example. Here's an example. Find the inverse of this matrix. Okay, this is not just a simple size change. All right, let's see what we're looking at. The determinant on this one is going to be, all right, let's see, AD minus BC. The determinant will be 0 times 1, which is 0, minus 2 times negative 2, which is negative 4, so the determinant on 0 minus negative 4 is positive 4. All right, so our determinant is going to be 4. It's not 0, so we can find an inverse here. All right, now all we have to do is apply that formula from the theorem. We have to switch the A and the D and then make the B and the C opposite and stick everything all over our determinant, which was 4. Okay, all right, so we're going to switch the A and the B, so the 1 will go here and the 0 will go here, and both of those will be over 4, and then we're going to make this 2 positive 2, and we'll make this 2 negative 2, and then we might as well reduce these fractions. Okay, so this would be 1 fourth and this would be one half, and this would be negative one half, and this would be zero. Okay, so I think that that is the inverse of that. Now, all we'd have to do would be multiply them together. If we multiply them together and get the um, identity matrix, we know it's true. But it's good to know that you can find inverse matrices on your calculator as well. So let's go ahead and try that. Hit your matrix button. And in our case, the matrix button's right there. And go ahead and enter a matrix A. Make sure it's a 2 by 2. And let's put in 
the 0, negative 2, 2, and the 1. Okay. Now, to find its inverse, all we have to do is call it up. So we're going to go ahead and quit out of that. I'm going to hit I'm going to hit my matrix button. I have two matrices stored in here. The first one is the matrix in question. So the default is names. I'm just going to press enter and matrix A will come up. Then I'm going to look on my calculator for my inverse key. On this calculator it is the x to the negative 1 key. I'm going to touch that and now it's going to say matrix A to the negative 1 power which means the inverse matrix. I'm going to press enter and there I'm going to get some values here. Let's see. Is, the, is 0.25 1 fourth? Is 0.5 1 half? Yeah. Let's take a look here. Oh my gosh, look. The calculator is giving me exactly what I have here in fraction form.